Never gonna happen. <laughs> Why not? Because you waited too long to make your move, and now you're in the friend zone. Why not? Friend zone. Why not? Friend zone. Why not? Never gonna happen. We're friends. <laughs> Rob Judge here. I'm joined by Alex Toro. What's going on, guys? And we wanted to put together this video because we want to explain why being put in the friend zone is actually a good thing. Alright, so you're watching this video most likely because you're either in the friend zone, you were put in the friend zone, you've been previously put in the friend zone, and probably there's a lot of pain and agony and suffering attached to that memory. Yeah. You know, or, or you're living through it right now, being in the friend zone. And a lot of guys think being in the friend zone, that's the end of attraction. That once you're in the friend zone, it's like... Uh, being sent to Siberia that you know you never it's notoriously hard to get out of yeah, and then you're sitting in a jail cell and you'll yeah. never get out feeding you know being fed rations of bread you know just to stay alive exactly exactly and you know that actually might have been the case even 10 years ago but with now the prevalence of ghosting and girls just blowing a guy off being in the friend zone, while it's not an ideal situation, it's actually much better than simply being ignored because believe me if a girl had absolutely no interest in you she would just simply ignore you. She would just simply ghost you. So that's number one. So number one is, you know, while you probably made some mistakes to land yourself in the friend zone and you probably did some things wrong, you also probably did some things right. So there's a silver lining to getting put in the friend zone, you know, in this, you know, modern, you know, era because of the fact that, you know, nowadays, if a girl does, has no interest, she'll just ghost you. Like ghosting, the, 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 the no zone, the, the no contact zone, the ignore yeah. zone is the new friend zone. Is the new friend I, zone, I guess yeah. you could say. So, but now let's look at what you can do to get out of the friend zone and what advantages being in the friend zone actually has for you. So the first advantage, I'm gonna turn this over to Alex to explain, is, and this is a huge advantage, is that the lines of communication are open. She's gonna take your calls, she's gonna to respond to your texts, she's gonna be looking at, liking, commenting, interacting with your social media. So when the lines of communication are open. And now Alex, why is that a good thing? Well, the reason is, is because she, you know, you she has now the opportunity to hang out with you. She has the opportunity to just get to know you and not, you know, put any labels on anything, right? She's not thinking, oh my God, this guy's trying to be my boyfriend, or oh my God, this guy's trying to sleep with me. You know, you're just getting to know each other, right? So you guys can hang out, you guys can go to the beach, you can go to the movies, you can go out, you know, for a drink and just talk and just get to know each other, right? And as you build up that that connection, as you build up, you know, um, that, you know, strength of the relationship over time, the, the relationship just becomes closer and closer and closer. And the more she feels like, okay, I, I, you know, I'm getting to know this guy. There's no, no like labels on it. The more she uh, is comfortable with you. And so, you know, when you want to take things out of the friend zone, the chances of it, you know, happening are much, much higher. Exactly. And like, and one of the things that underlied everything you just said is yeah. investment. She's investing her time, her right. emotions, her energy into you. And people want a return on that investment. You know, um, in her mind, she's doing it just like, okay, like he's my friend, he's my buddy, and that's fine. She can think that for now because when you do start kind of turning the tables a little bit and, and, and injecting a little bit more of sexual tension and, 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 and you start attracting her, um, that's just going to translate. It's almost like taking American dollars and translating them into euros, you yeah. know? <laughs> so it, it, the thing is that all that time and energy and emotion that she invested into the friendship, that's all going to carry over into the romantic relationship if you do things right. You, you know, if you go to the right uh, currency exchange, you don't want to be, you know, <laughs> exchanging your money for and, and, and get back nothing. But if you, if you exchange it right, um, it can definitely work in your favor. Now, though, however, I do want to explain the pitfalls of the friend zone or why you ended up there and like you know what what's missing in the relationship and what you can do to recover it and for that once again I'm going to turn it over to Alex well so you know the friend zone you could fall into the friend zone because maybe you showed too much affection to her too fast right she thought like oh my god this guy's trying so hard to sleep with me or he's trying to get into a relationship with me you know on the first date and uh, it's too much for me and I, I, I can't really handle it or maybe you just use like too much game on her. I mean, 
mean, maybe you're just like trying to use, you know, one liners. And, and by the way, those work game works, all the stuff that we teach, it works. But if you do it too much, she's going to feel it. She's going to be like, okay, this guy is using lines on me all the time. And it's not something I feel comfortable with. Let me just put him in the friend zone. See, I think that hot girls nowadays, they put guys in the friend zone way more than, you know, five to 10 years ago. And some of them just do it out of habit just to like basically test the guy and to see if he can handle it, right? And the easiest way to respond to it the easiest, uh, is to just say, hey, you know what? Cool, let's be friends. You want, I'll be like, you know, I'll be the mayor of your friend zone. I'll, I'll, play, I'll plan the uh, friend zone weekly meetings and, you know, Take you can invite parade. me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, and that's the thing. And she's like, look, this guy, he didn't get angry at me. He didn't like start making fun of it, you know. He he just like accepted it, and well, now he, well, he did kind of make fun of it. Well, you, yeah. oh, okay, let yeah. me let me. Okay, so this guy he didn't get angry at me, right? Yeah, he didn't get defensive. He, he didn't like, get defensive. He didn't say, "Oh, you don't know what you're missing." Like, "Oh, yeah. or you need to be, you need to be like, we need to be an item." Or, or I, I'm like, I'm gonna cut this off right now. That's the wrong answer. You oh, want to yeah. give in to the friend zone, make a joke out of it, make her laugh hilariously, and then just focus on the interaction. Yeah, it's funny because I um. It reminds me of a client that I uh, I did I did a coaching call with, and uh, he was on this call obviously because he was in the friend zone, and um, and when he got on the call, he was all proud of himself because he he uh, he thought that I was gonna like applaud him because he was like, oh well, you know what? I'm not accepting this consolation prize, friend zone. He was like, you either come romantic or you don't come at all. Right. And he's like, I told her, Rob, and I let him I let him tell me that. You know, launch into this whole spiel. It took like five minutes. I was holding the focus. He was like, he was like getting all self righteous about it. And then I, I said to him, I said, I said that is absolutely the worst way you could have handled that. Yeah. That is literally exactly what I would have not have done. Uh, exactly what Alex is saying. I would have just played it off. And that's why the humor works so well. Saying something like, "Oh yeah, I'll be the mayor of your friend zone." Because like when you're making jokes, you're cracking jokes, and and, and you're just enjoying it, and it, like it shows that you're not really that affected by it. You know, a guy who's, yeah. who's making jokes, he's probably pretty relaxed. You know, you never see a, a stand-up comedian like all nervous or like all butt hurt making making funny jokes. Whenever you watch a stand-up special. Guys telling jokes are always really relaxed, chill, really cool guys. So if you're just like, oh, yeah, friend zone up. Uh, yeah, you know what? I will be the mayor of your friend zone. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I'll plan that ticket tape parade in the friend zone. Yeah, don't worry about that. So, owning it. Really just owning it. Owning it, it. yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and especially if you can get her laughing too because um, – and, and then, you know, like I said, it just sets you up for like a really good dynamic going forward. Now, I just want to circle back to um, – Alex had talked about some of the reasons why guys end up in the friend zone like as a test, right? Like sometimes like you're, yeah. you know, you, you game too hard. Sometimes, like you said, like she can tell there's a little bit of an incongruence between, you know – your like what's going on that kind of thing but i think the most common reason guys end up in the friend zone is because they try to be a girl's friend or try to be a girl's boyfriend before they fully attract her though like one thing I, I disagree with you about is that you said like oh maybe it's because oh she knew all you're trying to do is sleep with her and if, if she knows that all you're trying to do is sleep with her i feel like that only goes one of two ways she either sleeps with you or she puts you in the ignore zone so i think that most of the guys in the friend zone um uh don't find i, I think that uh, there are outlier cases that me and you've discussed off camera that sometimes that happens as like a test yeah. but i think the majority of the guys watching they're in the friend zone because of the fact that they were, um, they showed a girl too much affection, too much, uh, you know, they were they were too much like a boyfriend before they were a lover, and that's right. that's a big big a big no no or a big reason, you know, big thing, big no no. What am I like? Like something like, like a Jewish grandma? Like that's a no no. That's a no no. <laughs> yeah, no, well, that's that's a huge mistake. All right, like yeah, that's a mistake. You don't want to be just showing up and uh, trying don't to be do girls, it. Yeah, don't, don't do it. So, so one of the things that is really important then is that you do want to start injecting a little bit more tension, and that could be sexual tension, right. but that could also just be the tension of saying no you know um you could be a girl's friend and you could be cool with her but you don't have to give in to every little thing that she wants like you know almost as if like you're a whipped boyfriend which again if you that's probably why you ended up in the friend zone mm -hmm. so if you and a girl you know you're you, you know she's now your buddy you're in the friend zone and you guys are going out you know you, you have plans to go out and she's like oh it's like i want to go to this i want to go to this bar because i have great martini martinis or great margaritas you should 
put your foot down and say, no, you know what, let's go to this bar. This bar, uh, they got my favorite beer on tap. You're going to mm -hmm. love it. It's going to be awesome. You know, and, and, and playfully debate. Because it was like, like, when you and a girl are, you know, again, and being playful, not fighting with her, not arguing, yeah. not being combative, but, you know, you are giving her a little bit of conflict. Now you're, you're adding back the ingredients that was missing before, which is the tension, which is a little bit of that, of having a little bit of that backbone where she sees, like, oh, man, like, I thought I could push this guy around, but... I can't. Right. It, it's a test. And you have to just, like, you have to be able to react to it. And me, she might even say, like, oh, okay, uh, you know, let's go to this restaurant. It's right by me. And then you might say, like, you know, let's uh, let's let's go to this restaurant that's between you and I. Or, or let's go to this restaurant that's a little bit closer to me. You know, not because, you know, not because of, like, oh, you definitely need to sleep with her that night. You know, it, it's just yeah. because, like, you, she's trying to see if you're going to, you know, cave into it and go to, like, her favorite restaurant. She wants to be wow. She wants to be intrigued by your favorite restaurant. She wants to, you know feel like you're you're a man i also think like when you're out at the restaurant you know even say, like i've said to a girl one time like you know I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and order for you if you don't mind you know and and she and she literally looked at me and she said you are like that i i love that you know and she got super excited like she was like really like sexually attracted to me in that moment because i knew exactly what to order at that restaurant i have a favorite roll of sushi and she was like she's like okay i want to you know I'm, I'm interested to see what this roll of sushi is it shows power and i love that there's two things that alex said i hope you guys you guys took you know well, I'm going to point out that you guys are going to take from. Um, number one is you keep using this word test, that, oh, this is a test. That's a test. And, and that is a great way to look at it. It's not because, like, a lot of guys take the friends when it's rejection, yeah. right? That's why you're probably a little butt hurt watching this video. And now I hope this makes you feel better. Alex, see, me and Alex, we get put in the friend zone. All but, the time. But and, and I love getting put in the friend zone. Like yeah, I said, that, like, where do you think these lines uh, make me the mayor of friend zone came from? They came from me because <laughs> I, I will be a girl. I will be the mayor of the friend zone because yeah. the friend zone is like one of the easiest and things. And by the way, I've used it like a thousand times since Rob has given it to yeah, me. It's yeah. worked like every time too. So. And now you take it and you can use it in your, in your free, friend man. zone uh, misadventures. <laughs> but, um, but the thing is that like Alex and I, we don't look at getting put in the friend zone like, oh my God, she rejected me. Oh, all, you know, all hope is lost. Let me just spiral down into the yeah. seven rings of Dante's hell. Instead, we look at it like, okay, like, this is a test. Like, this is a test. She's, um, I've done th some things right, but I've done a couple things wrong. And now she's just testing to see, am I going to fix those things? So that's a great way to look at it. So when you're, if you're coming, th com coming at the friend zone from that frame that, okay, she put me in the friend zone. That's fine. This is just a test. Um, you're way more likely to get out of the friend zone. And the second thing, and I love the example that you used about ordering for a woman, um, so much of whenever you can take a stereotypically masculine role, and I mean, again, I'm not going to ever encourage like chauvinistic behavior or anything like that. Uh, again, I don't want to get like Twitter shamed or anything by the social justice warriors. So that's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying to show up and be like, man, that woman, she should be in, she should be in the kitchen. Clean it. You know, I'm not, I'm so not. So you're up to the first date with a frying pan. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> Get to work. Yeah, yeah. So we're not advocating that by any means. But one of the things, there is a certain, like, there, there, there's like this gray area where you can still do things like ordering for a woman, picking a place out, um, doing things that are stereotypically masculine almost to the point of being edgy or bold yeah but that works really well because again i think part of what what was probably missing why i got put in the friend zone is because you were acting a little bit too much like her girlfriend like yeah. like another one you know again like a guy who's perpetually in the friend zone you know and is only in the friend zone if you look at that guy he's either probably gay or he acts like like a girl and and and, and again i'm i don't mean that as an insult but i mean like and, and it doesn't necessarily mean you act you or this, you know, person we're talking about, this, uh, this uh, imaginary person is always in the friend zone, always acts like a girl in all contexts, but at least around very attractive women, they assume more feminine behavior because they want to fit in. They don't want to rock the boat too much. They don't want to uh, do anything that, in their mind, they're kind of like playing not to lose, but you got to be playing to win. And by playing to win, I mean taking on the masculine role, again, within reason, not taking it too far. Yeah. Yeah. But taking a mass, taking the masculine lead, being a leader, being a little dominant, um, you know, being okay with calling her out on things, debating her again, not fighting with her, not being combative, not being a dickwad, but doing things that shows that you have a backbone, that you have your personality and talking to her like a man and talking to her like she's a woman. And I, you know, again, I think that that's something that yeah. if you inject that into the interaction, you know, you do it once or twice. Yeah. I mean, it's not going to break you out of the friend zone immediately. Yeah. But the thing is that what Alex and I are saying is that it's it, this whole thing about getting out of the friend zone, it's a succession of steps. And in fact, I actually 
created an entire course around this called Unlock the Scrambler. And the whole point of this course is giving you different steps along the way so that you can slowly turn the tables. Again, like we said like in the beginning of this video, one thing, a major advantage you have by being in the friend zone is the fact that you, the, the lines of communication are open and you have a lot of time. Like Alex said, you have a lot of time to get to know this girl. You have a lot of time to fix the errors that landed you in the friend zone. So as long as like you react, you know, you were cool with it. And again, if you're watching, to some degree, you probably did react cool to it because if you're still talking to her, you know, you probably didn't have an explosion like, well, you come romantic, you don't come at all. <laughs> so, um, so... And, and I was going to say to that, you know, unless you're like Brad Pitt, you know, to look at any interaction with a really hot chick, right? To, with a girl that you're really, really attracted to that's absolutely beautiful as like, go, it's going to be the perfect interaction, you know, from, you know, the first time you meet her to, you know, whatever happens. It's, it's like that almost never happens i mean no. like you always have to look at these things of okay she put me in the friend zone it's a test no big deal yeah. and i was just gonna say too like one of the things i love to do on almost every date especially if i'm really into a girl is to like just be if we're walking somewhere like we're going from one location to the next like i'll just grab her hand and like you know and i don't do it forcefully but like i'll just you know i'll even like put my hand out and if she grabs it and like we're just holding hands even if it's light i'm cool with that now if she's really like if she's really kind of pulling away from me then i know that she's just it's not again it's not that she is like really not into me it's just that she's not ready for that she doesn't know yeah. she doesn't know me well enough you know she's just not ready for for whatever it is the same thing is like if I try to kiss a girl on a date and she pulls away, I don't look at that as something as like, oh my God, she really doesn't like me. I look at it as like, oh, she just doesn't know me well enough yet. She's still trying to get to know me and, and, and feel me out. Um, and one of the reasons that a lot of the guys get into the friend zone is because they also continue the interaction and they do no touching whatsoever over the entire course of the date. They don't, you know, just touch her. Oh, that's so funny. Like, oh my God. Or, or like, you know, and by the way, don't take this too far, right? We don't, we don't want to like... Put any messages out there that would make you think that you can touch her a ton but like if you're just touching her lightly and just keeping it like you know just like yeah, a normal conversation yeah. yeah even yeah. high-fiving you're like oh that's awesome like yeah. yeah give me a high five you know that is that is automatically like subconsciously in her mind it's going to make her feel like okay this guy is someone that is okay with physical touch. He's someone that is okay with like, you know, you know, sexual like escalation. It's all mm -hmm. about like appearing in her mind. It's not just a guy that, you know, is out there like maybe trying to be your boyfriend or trying to get to know her, but also appearing in her mind that uh, of a guy that's just not afraid to take it, you know, sexually and not afraid to like sort of push the envelope just a little bit to yeah. you know, feel if, if there's, you know, some sort of connection there, right? I've always found that girls will, you know, sometimes they'll walk away from it. You know, I've definitely had those and, and they'll be like, oh, this is too much for me. But, you know, most of the time they'll respect it. They'll respect you as a guy that's, you know, not afraid to, to touch her a little bit, right? Yeah, exactly. And that's what we said uh, in the beginning that, like, that, you know, the, you were acting more like a boyfriend than you were a lover. And, exactly. and, and, and so what Alex is talking about is acting more like like. A lover. A lover. A lover. Yeah. The Don Juan. Yeah, the yeah, <laughs> lover. It sounds like uh, like a bad script to like some romantic comedy. But anyway, um, to get back to my shameless plug, um, <laughs> the uh, if you want a more structured blueprint, we're kind of throwing out a lot of broad strokes here, um, a lot of just general ideas, because you know that's really all we can do in in a, in a YouTube video like this. But if you want like very very specific game plan, a roadmap with different phases and that kind of thing, what you should be doing. Because again, and this is the final point that I just want to wrap up everything that Alex said too, is that you're not going to get out of the friend zone with some grand gesture. You know, this isn't a John Cusack movie. You're not going to go to our house with the boom box or anything like <laughs> standing that. Standing in the rain. Yeah. It's just, not, yeah, you're not going to stand in the rain. Just, yeah. There, there's not going to be like the frantic, like where she's going to drive into the airport and you need to like, you know, race her there and stop her and, you know, serenade her with the guitar, read her a love poem. Like, the grand gesture is not going to work here. That's not how to get out of the friend zone. No. Unless you're, a, like, a fictional movie character. To get, The way that you're getting out of the friend zone, if you're a real person, is by a slow, gradual... It's like a, I always look at it like a volume knob, right? Like, you wouldn't... If, if you put your stereo on for, for, for people in your house, guests, you wouldn't just crank that stereo knob up to, like, what, full volume, because that would shock the shit. I'd be like, what the fuck? Yeah. You know? You would you would gradually turn that, that volume knob up. And it's the exact same thing with getting out of the friend zone. Like, you want to turn the intensity up, but it's going to be 
like a, a slow, gradual process. And you can figure it out yourself. You can go on YouTube and check out videos. You know, again, I'm not saying you, like you have to. The only way to get out of the friend zone is by is by checking out the unlock unlock the scrambler course. But if if you're the type of guy who you like more of a structured, uh, you know, okay, do this, and then you do this, and then you know, like you send this text or that kind of thing. If you like more of that blueprint, you should definitely check out unlock the scrambler, which I'm going to put a shameless link under this video for you to check out. But um, but yeah, we just wanted to put together a quick video to answer that question. Or, or to, 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 you know, offer a silver lining around the friend zone because probably you clicked on this video because you thought being in the friend zone was a bad thing. And we're here to tell you that it is not a bad thing. It's actually, in some ways, uh, well, you know, in a lot of ways it's a good thing, mm -hmm. but it, it shows that, like, you know, you definitely did some things right and you can capitalize on those things, but you also, you know, probably did make some mistakes, which not the end of the world. It's a test. It's a test and it happens all the time. You know, even with guys that are super, super good at this stuff, it happens, so... You know, the best thing to do is to, to stay calm, stay focused, and watch some of our videos and figure out how to get out of it, because you can definitely get out of it. I've gone out of it tons of times, so. Yeah, or buy Unlock the Scrambler. Or buy Unlock the Scrambler. <laughs> All right, link below. link below. Thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful.